Hi, welcome to ISTQV Foundation Level Exam Sample Questions Study Guide. So this is session first of our ISTQV Foundation Exam session. So in each session, I'm going to tackle five questions and we will discuss how to solve those problems and we will try to extend this series as much as possible but most probably five questions per session so let's start with our session one so here is our first question which of the following has highest level of independence in which test cases are option a is designed by persons who write the software under test option b designed by a person from a different section option c designed by a person from a different organization and option d designed by another person so we are trying to find out the independence that we get while writing these test cases when the program is written by or let's say the software is from another section or organization or person or simply the same person who wrote that test so the independence for testing that program from the same person who wrote it will be less he will try to find less bugs from his code so option a is out of the picture let's check option b designed by a person from a different section so let's say if there, if there are two developers working on different modules and one tries to find a bug in the module of another developer so that won't give him much independence so he will likely to find lesser because of the way developers think while trying to get the bugs out option c designed by a person from different organization here you will find that person has neutral view of how the bug is coming out how the program should behave so this person has more independence in which test cases are or should be and option d designed by another person so we don't have any clue which this another person is is this another tester or product manager or scribe or even developer from another company so who is this another person so we have two options to choose from which is c or d however option c looks closer to our question here so we will go with c so c should be the answer for this question let's go for the next question so here the question is repeated testing of an already tested program after modification to discover any defects introduced or uncovered as a result the changes in the software being tested or in another related or unrelated software component okay so we are talking about testing that is done repeatedly after modification so think of it like notepad is tested again once a bug is fixed and this is the area where we are testing whether new bugs are introduced or not or whether the bugs that are already there are not giving output to another bug so let's go through the option so first option is retesting retesting is basically testing the program after each iteration so this doesn't look good because here we have done modification and not normal update of the program okay then is confirmation testing confirmation testing is something we do after let's say a program should behave in a particular order and we are confirming that whether it is behaving as per our requirement so when it is behaving as per requirement we pass our confirmation test as okay next comes 
regression testing so in regression testing we do testing only after modification to check whether new bug is introduced or not okay and then comes negative testing negative testing we are trying to particularly put the program into enough load and stress and then trying to find whether it is creating any bugs or not so that's just trying to find the bug purposefully so option d option a doesn't answer our question here so we have two options confirmation testing and regression testing in both options we see that programs gets gets tested only difference is that in case of regression testing we are testing after modification to see whether new defects are added or not confirmation testing doesn't get close to that part so our answer here is regression testing okay now let's take another question okay so we have difference between white and black box testing technique so which of the following is true about white and black box testing technique so option a equivalence partitioning decision table and control flow are white box techniques okay in option b equivalence partitioning boundary value data flow are black box techniques okay then comes equivalence partitioning state transition use case tech sting are black box testing techniques then last option is equivalence partitioning state transition use case testing and decision table are white box technique. okay so let's go with the first option here you find equivalence partitioning decision table and control flow as white box technique so here you can find that equivalence partitioning is not at all white box testing so we cut that part out we know that control flow is white box our decision table is also white box but not equivalence partitioning so moving on to next equivalence partitioning boundary value data flow are black box data flow is not black box technique so that option goes as well now comes option c equivalence partitioning state transition use case testing are black box okay so this looks closer and now option d equivalence partitioning state transition use case and decision table we know that decision table is not black box and here the thing is the keyword is white box testing so decision table is white box but not equivalence partitioning so option d is wrong as well so option c is our correct answer now fourth question which of the following is not a type of incremental testing approach so what exactly is incremental testing approach it is approach in which we are testing one module after another and usually our program is built on top of each module so it's like you develop module a which creates module b and together all these modules create that software okay so it's like waterfall approach however in case of testing we don't exactly think it that way we actually go through it in incremental steps so that testing is basically incremental testing here so let's say when we do top down testing it could be incremental again bottom up it is again incremental then functional incrementation and finally big bang okay so it's big bang incremental testing no not at all so our question is which of the following is not a type of incremental testing approach we know top down is incremental testing bottom up is also incremental 
and functional implementation that means method gets tested one after another so only big bang is the testing here that is not related to incremental testing so option is b now let's take another question Okay, so final question is, in case of large systems, we have four options to, to choose from, which are related to large system. So option A, only few tests should be run. Okay, then option B, testing should be on the basis of risk. Okay, then only good test cases should be executed. And final test cases returned by a good test engineer should be executed. Now let's eliminate the options. Option A, only few tests should be run. We cannot say that because it is a large system and we have to check whether each area of that system gets tested. Option B, testing should be on the basis of risk. This is true because large system have a lot of risk within multiple modules so we have to check the modules for risk and we should run our tests based on that now only good test cases should be executed this looks like a not so good option because we have no clue whether our test cases is good enough or not for that large systems so option a and c are definitely no so let's go for option d Test cases returned by good test engineers should be executed. Okay, so how do you say any test engineers is good enough for large system that you haven't even tested before? So we have no clue who is good or bad for a particular system and we cannot discriminate in between test engineers on their capability to execute tests. So we have only one option here, which is testing should be on the basis of risk. This is right answer. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed these five questions and I hope you'll stick around for a few more sample questions for ISTQB foundation level exam.